Let's pop the hood on a legal battle raging over an American automotive legend. Uh, the proprietary rights to the DeLorean legacy. Mark Levy showed us one of his DeLorean DMC-12s, which still to this day stop traffic 30 years after they were manufactured. Hot, right? <laughs> That, that's a cool picture. It's a it's a picture opportunity, is what it is. Yeah, blinker went right on. I had to I had to pull over and check it out. Honestly, how many times a day driving this car do you need to wind up talking to the public, people? All the time. All day. You can't stop anywhere with a Back to the Future joke. Where's the flux capacitor? <laughs> hey, Doc Brown. Hey, where's Marty? Right, but back to the legal battle at the heart of this thing has nothing to do with Mark. Attorneys for Sally DeLorean, widow of John DeLorean, uh, say that a Texas company calling itself the DeLorean Motor Company is using and selling trademarks and property rights that it does not own. Mr. DeLorean bought all of the intellectual property, uh, including all the designs and, uh, and all of the intellectual property that had belonged to his company, the DeLorean Motor Company, when it went bankrupt in the 80s. And so he has the rights to all of it. Uh, attorneys for the company in Texas not related in any way at all, by the way, to the original DeLorean company started by John Z. DeLorean. Oh, wow. They wrote to the court that they aim to use the trademarks and name that they have had registered for more than two decades. They did not return calls for comment. <laughs> DeLorean owners and enthusiasts, Bill, they really just regret the whole mess. Mark says that the fought over property, the logo, the intellectual rights, um, it was in the public domain for more than 20 years until people saw value in it and started hiring lawyers. It, it really isn't owned by anybody. To, to, uh, to have a company or, or John DeLorean's heirs come along 30 years later and claim ownership of something just because now it has some value. Um, I think that that's, that's really unfair. Bill, the original DeLorean Motor Company went into receivership in 1982 after producing about 9,000 cars with stainless steel skins that remain beloved uh, by enthusiasts to this day. This company in Texas is actually uh, bringing this brand back. Maybe they should think about merging and actually having some of the family behind a company that wants to keep this alive and they can all make some money. It's a nice thought, and they were at the verge of a settlement until that all fell apart. I think there might be too much acrimony at this point for anything like that to happen. How fast does it drive? Well, 88 miles an hour. Yeah, <laughs> that's when it disappears. Sure.